A picture of a coronavirus hug has been named World Press Photo of the Year. It shows an 85-year-old Brazilian woman getting her first embrace in five months through a transparent hug curtain. The judges felt it symbolised love and compassion. Well, I'm joined now by the man behind that photo, Danish photographer Mads Nissen, the winner of the 2021 World Press Photo of the Year. Thank you very much for joining us, Mads. Uh, tell Martha me the story walking. behind that photo. Well, I was covering the crisis in Brazil, and it's one of the countries most affected by this virus, um, much due to the president, Bolsonaro, who has been neg neglecting it from the very beginning. And I was photographing the graveyards, the, cemetery, the cemeteries where people were mourning, hospitals, the ambulances. But I also felt that there was need for a different kind of picture, a picture that could show the spirit, this, you know, this certain Latin American spirit to, to, to fight and to find love even in the most dark hour. It almost looks like she's wearing angel wings, doesn't it? The way that she, when she's yeah. being hugged. It's, in, it's an incredible photo given the circumstances. What was the woman's name? It, so Adriana is, is um, the one with the, wearing the mask. She's a nurse at this place. And then you have Rosa Lucia, who is 85 years old, who is receiving the hug. And they're both doing well. I, I just spoke with them yesterday. They are very happy about it as well. What were your feelings walking through that cemetery and also taking this photograph and being in Brazil at a time when coronavirus is uh, affecting the country in such a devastating way? It was sadness, you know, being in the cemeteries were just coughing after COVID. Just, there were so many people coming in. In the hospital, people just fighting to, 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 to breathe and many, many in respir um, in, in you know, getting help to, to even be able to breathe. So it was really, really sad in many ways. And I was completely emotionally exhausted as well. So when I came to this elderly home where they were hugging each other, it was, it was just such a relief. I mean, such, a, such an um, extraordinary amount of love, solidarity. And, and it's amazing to see how much difference it does. You, I mean, you might, you might think that, you know, what does it, diff what, what does it matter, it's just the heart, but it, it, really, it really made everyone so emotional, me included. And Mads, how did you feel on being announced the winner? Oh, that was, that, you know, I think, you know, this year in particular has been so significant. And it, well, this time that we're living in is so significant. So that they choose this image to represent this this year and this crisis is a is a real is a deep deep honor. I think also deep respect to to those three million people who have died and and uh, of this of this crisis and everyone mm. else who's been suffering so hard from it. Okay, Mads Nissen winner of the press photo of the year. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us and congratulations on your win. Thank you.